Hello everyone, this is Shansha and welcome to Z Interactive. Today in our Marvelous Designer course, we learn how to create this sort of a color for the Squid Game jacket. So the, without further ado, let's move to Marvelous Designer. Now here we have our character. So what I did is that I have pressed Shift Z on my keyboard so that I can see all these uh, lengths. Okay, so I will first of all, take. Uh, I will calculate these. 5.67 okay plus 5.43 plus so 5.67 5.43 and we will move to the other side here and what do we have here is i think it's from here to here 50.5 selected from here Okay, so four point four point eight four and plus four point nine uh, four point five nine plus and we'll go to the back side and this is five point four one so five point Total we have here is 25.94. Okay, so what I will do, I will take my rectangle polygon tool, click here, and what was the value? 25.94. So which should be 25.94. Height I will keep it as it is for now. Okay, and here we go. Just to wait. Okay, so I will reduce the height of it. Don't want it. Something really, really huge. Okay, what I'm going to do first, we uh, let's try with this color, and then we will see how we can uh, do from the others uh, from the other side. So. It have to be doubled, okay, because we have other side as well. So we will right click here and unfold it. And I will press shift Z to turn off the whole uh, thing there. Move it here. Turn it up, right click, flip horizontal. Okay. And now I will start from which side? I should start from uh, the back side. I think should start from here. Then I should go all the way uh, to this side and to this side. Okay. So uh, I will take my and free sewing tool click here I press enter because you have to uh it's better to zoom out when you're uh, working on it otherwise it will be confusing click here okay then yeah click from here and then go all the way back here this is where i think i i have done the mistake then here, here, then press enter. Okay. Void. Good. But it should be uh, flipped, I think. So flip, uh, flip horizontal. Okay. And flip normal also. it's quite confusing uh, actually let's do one thing let's undo that for now let me do one thing here let me see which side is here okay yeah that's why that's why that's why 
And now I got it. No worries. So, MN. PMN. Press enter. Here to here. Here to here. Then here to here. Now it shouldn't do. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so that was the error I was I was using using the wrong side actually. But one thing you can do is that you can right click here and flip horizontally. Oops. No. That's fine. Leave it. Keep keep it. Because what I was doing that I was trying to match uh this to this side, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and now I will do the other side going from here. Press enter. Now here to here. Here to here. Then here to here. And then press enter. Now, Shift F, click on this, select this, Shift F again. Let's simulate it. And here we go. Okay. And we are done. It's quite. Quite a big, I think. But let's do one thing. Uh, let's take segment sewing tool. Show this side to this side. Just to see if it is tight or not. Okay. Yeah, it is loose. So if you have to make it tighter, let's see how to do that. It's simple, easy. Okay. You just have to select this. Let's turn off the simulation for now. And a little bit smaller. Re-simulate it. Okay. Uh, more. More. Oops. As I told you before, uh, see, this error happened when we were creating the trousers. So you have to double click it here. So it goes from center. So you see, it is balanced before it was moving from here. That's what happened when I was doing and the trousers, uh, like a middle seam was got offset it from the belly so that you have to avoid, I'll, I'll always try to do from the center, just double click it and do it from the center point. Okay. Let's see again. Okay, now I think it's better. Cool, cool, cool. Now, one more thing we can do here is Take the edit pattern tool, click on these two sides of the edit patterns, right click here, offset internal line, little down maybe 5.5, maybe 8.8, okay. Why I did that? So I can create, uh, I can cut and sew, so it will make a very nice seam extra line. Usually you will see that in some of the model, uh, in some of the clothes they have that line. So I will just right click here, cut and sew. So this sort of a line, we will get it. So let's simulate it. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. Now, uh, in the next class, what we are going to do is that we were going to, we are going to learn how uh, we can uh, uh, like create a zipper. Okay. And I think, yeah, before zipper, we are going to create uh, the uh, waste band, then we will create the zipper. Okay. So uh, if you have liked this video, so please, uh, and if you have enjoyed this video, please click, uh, click the like button. Like button. If you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell, uh, bell icon. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it, which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on C Interactive, your own training institute. If you are enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird Membership Plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends Membership Plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 